kilowatt, kilowatt hours, kilowatt per hour, kilowatt per mile, kilowatt hours per mile. Like, what do these all mean? All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here from North Tesla. Today, I'm diving into the nitty gritty of electric vehicle lingo and demystifying a few terms that often leave us scratching our heads. If you ever wondered about the differences between kilowatt, kilowatt hours, and how they relate to your EV, and what's up with terms like kilowatt per mile and all those terms associated with charging rates? Well, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. All right, let's start off with the basics. Now, you've probably seen kilowatt and kilowatt hours thrown around, and they might sound similar, but they're actually worlds apart. Now, let's start off with a definition. A kilowatt, otherwise known as KW, is a unit of power. Power is at a rate at which energy is used or produced. One kilowatt is equal to a thousand watts. It's a measure of how quickly energy is consumed or produced at a specific moment. While a kilowatt hour, or a KWH, basically that is a unit of energy. Now, energy is the capacity to do work or produce heat. One kilowatt hour is the amount of energy expended or produced by a one kilowatt device over the course of one hour. It is a measure of the total amount of energy consumed or produced. So let's say for example, like you have this massive blender that has a power rating of one kilowatt and it operates for one hour. It consumes one kilowatt hour of energy. If the same device operates for two hours, it will consume two kilowatt hours. So like I said, a kilowatt is a measure of power while kilowatt hours is a measure of energy. A good example is this faucet. If you have a microwave or a dryer that takes up a lot of power, it's going to be a full flow of water, while a small light bulb will be a trickle. Now, kilowatt hours is if you have a container or a jar and you fill it up, it's basically the amount of energy it uses over a given that period of time. So after a while, this is how much energy we have or we've used. Now let's bring these terms into the EV realm. When we're talking about power in an electric vehicle, we're talking about the get up go, basically the kilowatts. Generally, a higher kilowatt value indicates a more powerful electric motor, which can affect things such as acceleration and overall performance. Motor size in terms of kilowatts is actually a less common stat among EV vehicles because there's a lot of variables that go into it. It's kind of like horsepower, as well as some EVs have either more than one, sometimes they have two or three motors, and they might each have a different kilowatt rating. So it's hard to give an actual stat. What's more important though, is the efficiency of that motor, as well as the size of the battery, which all that put together equals your range. Shifting gears to energy, that's where kilowatt hours comes into play. Your EV's battery is like its energy vault, and the kilowatt hours rating tells you how much energy it can hold. When you see a battery capacity of say 80 kilowatt hours, it means that the battery can theoretically deliver 80 kilowatts of power for one hour. In the context of electric vehicles, this capacity is crucial for determining the range or how far the vehicle can travel before needing to recharge. All right, going back to the water example, let's say my battery is this container and I could say it's 32 ounces, but that doesn't really tell you how far you can go. I need to know is how much I can go for one mile. So if it takes me a quarter cup to go one mile, I basically take this out and this is how many times I can go one mile. That's how you get your range. Now let's talk about the numbers you see when driving your electric car. You might see watts per kilometer or watts per mile, depending on where you live. This is your EV's efficiency rating. It's the same as liters per 100 kilometers or miles per gallon in a traditional gas car. When you factor in your average watts per kilometer, factor in your battery status, you then get a projected range. Lastly, let's decode the language of charging. Now you'll see charges out there with different ratings. As an example, most Tesla superchargers, you'll see the old ones are 150 kilowatts while the new ones are now 250 kilowatts. This is how fast a charger can fill up your vehicle. Now think back to my faucet example. That flow of water is how we measure the flow of electricity into your vehicle. And one final thing with supercharging, you'll notice it either kilometers or miles per hour. That is how much range you're adding per hour of charging. All right, so there it is. I hope this cleared things up and you know everything you know about kilowatt, kilowatt hours, kilowatt per hour, kilowatt per mile, all that stuff. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos, which I release about every week or so. Tons of awesome EV content so get to know your electric vehicle and dive into the new EV world. 
All right. Uh, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric.